everybody, it is Nat and Tam here with another Harry Potter sorting video. I have two of these up on my channel already. I got sorted into my Hogwarts house and I discovered my Patronus. So if you didn't see those videos, I'm in Ravenclaw and my Patronus is a mongrel dog. So that's fun. <laughs> but today I'm going to be taking the wand ceremony. This is on Pottermore. So I'm very excited to see what my wand is. I've really, really been wanting to go to like the Harry Potter world and take the wand ceremony there and like actually get a wand. Um, but that probably won't happen <laughs> for a while. Uh, but yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. Just take your time and answer honestly. Your answers are final. It's pretty intense. It's just gonna go. Oh, ooh, okay. To ensure we find the perfect one for you, it's very important that you answer the follow-up question. Okay, um, how would you describe yourself? Ooh, I am exactly average height. So yeah, short, tall. I am a literally exactly average woman. Oh, and my eyes are, they're like a, they're blue like a blue gray um blue so oh blue gray that's perfect blue green no yeah i'm blue gray what my eyes have to do with that okay an even number or oh on which day were you born i was born on an even number do you pride yourself most on your kindness optimism determination resilience imagination intelligence or originality Ooh. Probably between intelligence or optimism. As a Ravenclaw, I should probably pick intelligence. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to go with optimism. Because I feel like a lot of people are really smart, but not, oh, like, it's hard. I don't know. I don't want to say I feel like it's harder to always be optimistic than really smart, but I don't know. I feel like there's tons of super smart people out there. So I just, I said optimism. <laughs> okay, traveling. <laughs> Enough of that. Okay, traveling down a deserted road, you reach a crossroads. Do you continue left towards the sea, ahead towards the forest, or right? <laughs> definitely towards the castle. <laughs> Ooh, do you fear most? Fire, definitely. <laughs> I also fear darkness. <laughs> um, isolation, not so much. Small spaces. Oh, heights. <laughs> yeah, definitely heights. Okay, in a chest of magical artifacts, which would you choose? An ornate mirror, dusty bottle, golden key... Silver dagger, bound scroll, glittering jewel, black glove, or an oh, um, probably the silver dagger. I don't know. I feel like I'd be drawn to that the most. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm done. Okay. Ash wood with a dragon heartstring core, 12 and a half inches, and solid flexibility. Whew. Okay. If you guys can see, this is what it looks like. It's kind of, it's kind of creepy, but kind of cute. I love it. I feel like 12 and a half inches is really long. I don't know. Okay. Oh, more about my wand. Let's learn. <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> I wish I could like order this and get it shipped to me. Okay, Ashwood. Let's learn about Ash. <laughs> um, oh, it cleaves to its one true master. Ought not to be passed or gifted. At least it would lose its power and skill. Um, this is fun. Oh, this makes sense. The witches and wizards best suited to ash wands are not, in my experience, lightly swayed from their beliefs or purposes. That would be true of me. The ideal owner may be stubborn. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Wait, ooh, yeah, dragon. As a rule, dragon heart strings produce wands with the most power. <laughs> no biggie. Uh, this is fun! Oh, and they're capable of the most flamboyant spells. Gosh, I love this! <laughs> um, ooh, they learn more quickly. Ooh, they change their allegiance, though. So I wonder between the Ashwood and the Dragon, which one, which one rules? Okay, and then uh, that doesn't really say anything about my length or the flexibility. So yeah, this is fun. This is exciting. So yeah, I hope you guys can see Ashwood Dragon Heartstring Core, 12 and a half inches, and solid flexibility. All right, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below what your uh, want is if you guys have taken the Apotomore quiz. I would love to know, and I think I'll just see you guys in the next video. Bye!